So I wanted to take a few whoppers with this video to talk about two interesting PlayStation 5 stories. One very interesting and that is the possible reveal of the PlayStation 5 UI this week finally. And the other story is smaller but still interesting to talk about and that is how Cyberpunk 2077 has great support on the PlayStation 5 later this year. First, let me know if you guys want Mark Surdy to reveal the PlayStation 5 UI or <laughs> does it even matter to you who reveals it? I personally would like to see Mark Cerny again explain the PlayStation 5 real-time UI while actually showing it to us running live. It's been a while since we've heard from him, but that's personally just me. So comment below, do you want Mark Cerny to reveal the PlayStation 5 UI or does it even matter to you who reveals it? Let me know down in the comments below. Now diving into the first story of the video, Cyberpunk 2077 has great support on the PlayStation 5 later this year. So as we know, Cyberpunk 2077 has a next-gen version of the game, but it won't be available at launch later this year, but rather next year. There's also the benefit of it being a free upgrade for everyone who has the current generation versions of the game, but how will the PlayStation 4 version play on the PlayStation 5? Reading from PushSquare.com, Cyberpunk 2077 certainly finds itself in a curious position given that it's effectively going to be a PlayStation 5 launch game for many people, despite it technically being a PlayStation 4 release. Yes, uh, developer CD Projekt Red has promised a free PlayStation 4 to PlayStation 5 upgrade next year, but that's still some time away. The studio doesn't want you to wait to pick up its sci-fi RPG, however, this poster from a European game store has been doing the rounds after emerging on Reddit overnight. You'll note that the title lists its primary platforms including PlayStation 4 and then underneath includes the following message plays great also on Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5. The developer has previously indicated that the release will take advantage of Sony's next-gen hardware at launch. So if this is going to be upgrades via boost mode, something like boost mode, which is probably the case, benefits, then, benefits from boost mode that we can expect uh, are things like native 4K and 60 frames per second. There's also the big one here and that is loading times should see a big improvement on the PlayStation 5 which depending on how slow they are on the PlayStation 4 could make a night and day difference on the PlayStation 5. I've had Cyberpunk uh, 2077 pre-ordered since last year so I'll definitely be playing it later this year on the PlayStation 5 but you guys let me know if you're buying Cyberpunk 2077 or not let me know down in the comments below now diving into the second story of the video the PlayStation 5 UI reveal this week we have long waited to see the PlayStation 5 UI and it seems like Sony has saved it as one of the last things to show off before the PlayStation 5 launch later this year I hope after they show off the PlayStation 5 UI we can see demonstrations for PS4 boosted mode games I'm really interested to seeing the difference between how they run on PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 I feel they've held that back Back. They've held showing that off because it's a part of the UI and that also has yet to be revealed. But even beyond that, above that, I'm excited to finally see the real-time UI in action for the PlayStation 5. I'll explain what that is later on in the video for those who don't know. But for those who have been following the stories, here's the latest. Reading from PlayStation Lifestyle, something PlayStation 5 related is happening on October 15th. We know this thanks to, of all things, the Burger King Twitter account. The tease, which doesn't mention the PlayStation 5 or Sony directly, features the text do Whopper sandwiches normally do this above a video? The 50 second clip shows the iconic King character from the Burger King ads looking in a large Burger King bag. A blue light shines out onto his face as a distinct tone plays. He looks around and then opens the bag again. The blue light and tone shine once more. As he picks up the bag and walks away, the text 10 slash 15 is revealed October 15th. To the average person, this tease might be rather confusing, but for those, for anyone who's been following PlayStation 5 news and eagerly awaiting the PlayStation 5 UI reveal, that tone was immediately familiar. It's the same tone from Sony's brief PS5 UI and startup tease back during the PlayStation 5 reveal in June. So, 
something seems to be happening on the 15th now before hearing what's going on in this video before hearing the sound i would have assumed that burger king and sony have a promo going to win playstation prizes to hype up the playstation 5 like we've seen elsewhere but to tease the playstation 5 boot up sound when sony knows we're all waiting to finally see the playstation 5 ui i really hope it's the actual reveal because <laughs> i could see a lot of disappointed fans come thursday if this ends up being just a contest focused announcement even if they just tell us hey the playstation 5 U ui reveal is actually next week if they give us a date for the reveal of the ui that will be exciting and satisfying for fans as well but going back to the ps5 real-time ui what is it? So Mark Cerny spoke about the PS5 real-time UI last year via the Wired Magazine interviews. He pretty much described it to be a UI that gives you important information for a game right from the PlayStation 5 home screen so you don't have to boot it up. So the home screen will show what missions you have left in a game and what rewards they will be. And by clicking on it, it'll take you directly to that mission, bypassing the need to boot up the game, go to the main menu and mess around there. Same thing with something like multiplayer. You don't have to boot up the game, then select multiplayer, then select the multiplayer mode. Rather, you can just click on something like Team Deathmatch right directly from the PlayStation 5 home screen and it'll pull you into a game right away. It's meant to give you the options right there so you don't need to ever boot up a game ever again, which doesn't sound like anything we've heard elsewhere, so I'm very excited to see it running live. But you guys let me know if you think Sony will reveal the PlayStation 5 UI this Thursday or not. It could be the announcement for the PS5 reveal uh, when it's going to happen. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. And if you guys did enjoy this video, please hit that like button as it always helps. And subscribe if you're new. I got new videos every Monday. Wednesday and Friday and now I'll check you guys out on the next one and welcome back to the after show this is the part of the video where we have a little fun down in the comments below if you're old welcome back if you're new welcome for today's thing what I want you guys to do is to body obliterate destroy and overall harass the comment section with reveal the UI king obviously reference to the Burger King the UI reveal hopefully we get a reveal this Thursday maybe an announcement but if you're hoping for all of that or excited for anything PS5 UI reveal related destroy the comment section with reveal the UI king and I'll definitely heart those comments like I always do because I appreciate everybody who stays at the end of my videos and now I'll check you guys out on the next one